Isaiah 43, 18-19 Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. October is such a special month here on the mountain. It's when the leaves start to change their colors, and the winds start to blow in a new direction. And for a short season, when the water is warmer than the air, and the sun begins to crest over the mountains in the morning, and its rays touch the surface of the water, there is a beautiful and moody steam that rolls over the lake. Sometimes I'll just stand there in awe, with worship in my heart for all that the Lord has created. It's as if just before the winter season, the Creator shows off by turning the land into a stained glass window. October holds a special place in my heart as it's my anniversary to my beloved and it's his birthday and my birthday also. It's truly the start of the cozy season, and cozy is my favorite word after all. One of the things that always strikes me in October is that it's a season for learning to let go. Letting go of the things that we no longer need. I think sometimes we walk around holding on to things that weigh us down. But yet and still we carry them for a variety of reasons. Sometimes maybe because we think we deserve it, and other times maybe because we think we don't. In my walk with the Lord, I have observed in myself when I have held on to things that He'd already taken away or that He had desired to carry for me. Yet I continue to place that weight on my shoulders, unable to open my hands and let go. Sometimes we hold on to unforgiveness. And I think that that's because we feel like if we forgive, we're letting the person off the hook. 
when really we're just refusing to let ourselves be free. Sometimes we hold on to vices or addictions or bad habits. And yes, sometimes those things are very complex. But some of them we hold on to because we think we need them to be okay. Or because somewhere deep inside, we don't believe that it can get better. But one of the beautiful things about the autumn season is that the leaves are about to teach us how beautiful it is to let things go. But I know for me, whenever I finally go to him and confess my heart and lay those burdens where he is, there is freedom. You know, the scripture says that who the sun sets free is free indeed. And so friends, I pray that in this season, every time that you see a leaf fall, you think about how beautiful it is to let some things go. I truly wanted to thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for coming back to our little house on the mountain. For more information, blog posts, recipes, or for the Cozy Corner Shop, please head to www.ourlittlehouseonthemountain.com. And if you didn't know, we have a channel called Little House Story Corner, which is animated readings and excerpts from the Bible and the Little House in the Prairie reading collection. And I wanted to thank our patrons over on Patreon for helping make this possible. We are thankful, so, so thankful for all of you. And Lord willing, I will see you all right here on the next one. Bye, friends.